Hi there. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad you you joined me. So screens, as everyone knows, are a part of our everyone's life. Our kids' lives, our adult lives, they're just everywhere. So sometimes I bet you're feeling irritated by the amount of time that your kiddos are spending on screens. And you're probably feeling a little worried about how that might be impacting their lives. I get it. it. I bet sometimes it feels like it's you against the screens all the time. Whenever there's a parenting disagreement, it probably evolves down to screens being affected by it. So with summer break coming up, I thought it was a good idea that before you start setting the rules for what summer break will look like with screen time, that we have a little chat about it. So I'd like to give you some hints and some advice about screen time and your kiddos for summer break. But before I do that, I want to also mention that as you're watching, if you're um, with me live and you'd like to stick some things in the chat, I would love to hear what your questions are and I'll do my best to answer questions as well as um, give you the advice and the tips that I was going to go through. And if you're not live with me, feel free to put a question in the comments on this post because I can also respond to those. Awesome. So here we go. So before you start setting some rules for summer and screen time, I would like to invite you to think about trying this. Take a week and just use that week to investigate and to verify how much time really is being spent on screens and take note of all the main um, thoughts around screens. So the how much time, the where, the what, the who, and the when. So Write this all down. You might want to record, find a way to record it, either maybe on your phone <laughs> or even on a piece of paper. It might be interesting to find out just how much time are they spending on screens. You may think it's a lot more than it actually is once you record it. Or you may be astonished to discover exactly how much time they're spending on screens. But then also it's important to figure out the what. What are they doing when they're on screens? Are they listening to music? Are they creating? Sometimes screens are very useful in cre being creative. Uh, are they connecting with friends? Or are they playing video games? Or are they doing something else on their screens? So you wanna know how much time and what they're doing. And also take note of where. Where are they using their screens? Is it in a more public place in the house? Is it in their bedrooms? Is it when they're in the car? Where are they actually interacting with these screens? And when? Are they using screens a lot late at night? Do they use screens as a way of winding down after a busy day at school or something stressful? So taking note of all these things about what they're doing with their screens and when, where, how, why, and then who. Sometimes um, we're using screens with another person and, it, and that can be a positive. So take note of all that information about your kiddos and their screens. And I would... I would invite you to think about not informing them that you're doing this because that might alter their use. And what you're really looking for is a realistic record of screen time use in a normal family week. Then the next thing I'd like to invite you to consider doing is make a list of all the things that you would like them to be doing instead of using their screens. So for instance, if you would rather they were outside playing, if you would rather they were practicing a musical instrument, if you would rather that they were reading, write everything down. And it, it could even be chores. Um, whatever it is that you believe they should be filling their time with, jot that down. Finally, when you have all this information, I'd like to invite you to consider having a sit down with the whole family or if not the whole family, at least with the child or the children you're most concerned about or the teens, have a sit down with them and have your information handy. But don't just bring it out and say, here you go. This is how much time you're watching screens and this is what you're doing and this is what I'd rather you be doing. So we're going to set up some rules so you do it. That's not going to be really productive. And then you're going to only create animosity around screens and parenting. So what I suggest and invite you to consider is sit down together and listen. Listen first. 
ask your kiddos. Ask your kiddos and your teens, how much time do you think you're spending on screens? Hmm. And where are you mostly using? So ask your kids what their thoughts are on all those things that you have information about. So how much time, where, who, why, all that stuff. And then also ask them to think about things they could be doing instead of being on their screens. Things in their life that they might be putting aside because they're using their screens. After you've gotten all this information from your kids, I think the meeting should be over. And then come back to it later. Come back and have another meeting and tell them about how you were glad they shared all that information and then talk with them and have them hear the information that you um, that you compiled from the time that you were having your kids be there and you were just recording everything. So then you can have a, a better conversation with them about setting some parameters around screen use during the summer. So then you can talk about what kind of things do you think, um, you can ask your kiddos, ask your teens, what kind of responsibilities do you think you should have around the house to make summer go well? And write this down. Ask them why they're playing on their screens. If it's video games that they're spending their time on, why are they doing that? Because you really want to discover, is your child using screens as, a, as an entertainment? Are they using it as an escape? Has it become a habit that you might need to help them learn how to manage that habit? Because all of those reasons for using screens um, come with different repercussions in our lives. If it's just for entertainment, it's going to be easier to modify it. If it's a habit, then it's going to be harder to help your child to learn to um, cope with that habit or learn to diminish that habit so that it's not so all-consuming. So once you know why they're using screens, and it might not be the same all the time, it's not going to be 100% habit or 100% entertainment, but those are good conversations you can have with your kiddo about that, and then you can help them to make changes. Because honestly, if screens are a habit, you can't just say to them, okay, we're going to limit your screen time to nothing or we're going to limit it to one hour a day. If your child's been spending six or seven hours a day on screens, to tell them they only get one hour is like going cold turkey. And you've got to help them. If it's a habit, you've got to help them to wean back and to replace that with something else that's enjoyable. So um, oftentimes parents will say, if you do this chore, then you get this much screen time. That might work for some kiddos. But you also might want to try something like this. If you spend this much time doing another fun activity, then you can have the same amount of time on screens. Because what you'd like to do is help them realize that there's other fun activities that can be a part of their life instead of or in addition to their screen time. We're not going to totally negate screen time for a family or for your ki kids and teens. But what you want to do is introduce them to other fun activities that can be a part of their life and have them increase those activities and hopefully diminish the amount of time that they're, they're spending on their screens. So here's a few tips. What about playing with them on their screens? Because obviously screen time and their games are very important to them. And we all want things that are important to us to be able to be shared with our loved ones. So if screens and playing games are a source of um, irritation between you and your teen or your child, then how about you give in and start to learn more about what their joy that they're finding in their games, learn about it so that you can share about it, so that you can talk about it. Not that you have to become great at the game, but at least be knowledgeable so that you can enjoy their success that they feel at the game. You can enjoy having conversations around it and the game itself can stop being something that's irritating between the two of you. Then you're, you're gaining ground in being able to help them to manage their screen time better. Here's a biggie. As a parent, are you modeling responsible use of screens? 
Do you turn off your device or your computer and give yourself completely to your relationships at home, to your relationships with family? Do you put your device aside when you go out to a restaurant or are you distracted by it? Because our behavior as parents is going to greatly affect how our kids use screens in their life. So be more conscious about how you're using screens and how you're modeling your moderation. Are you often using screens to entertain you? Is it a habit for you? Is it something that you go to when you need a stress reliever? All of those things are speaking to your kids. Now, as you're moving towards screens and as your kids are getting older and maybe into the, the ages where you're wondering if you should get them a phone or not, there's a lot of things to consider with getting a young child a phone. So different families have different um, ideas about how to use it. Here's a couple of tips you might want to think about. How responsible is your child around the house? And that responsibility could be something that then indicates to you that they'll be responsible enough to have a smartphone. Another thing for parents to consider as they're moving towards getting their kids smartphones is um, training them in how to use the phone and what safety things to look for as they're starting to use the smartphone. There is a product out there called Cell Phone Permit, and it takes, takes kiddos through like a driver's training course about cell phone use. That might be something your family thinks is an important um, first step before getting a smartphone, and you find that at cellphonepermit.com. So all these decisions around screen use and cell phone use are things that parents need to um, definitely parent around in our society now, but don't be afraid of it. Embrace it and have conversations with your kids about how your family values screens, values smartphones, and how you're going to make them be a part of your family without compromising the quality of time you spend together as a family. If you'd like more information or more tips and advice, feel free to sign up to meet with me and a free session. It's at uh, calendly.com slash lisa dash cyp. And I'll put a link in the comments. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you have a great summer break.